In this video, I will provide the final analysis. Criticism is still greatly appreciated. Make sure to adjust the tool to the right place, date and time, and check DST, which accounts for the daylight saving time. As I did some mistakes here, in the last videos, be careful. First, we draw a line which is the prolongation of the shadow of the street sign on the right side indicated in black, and we draw an additional line from the left street sign to the street lamp of the first video indicated in red. We then measure the distance of the red line in pixel, which is 82.3. Then, we measure the distance from the intersection of the black line with the red line to the street lamp, which is 18. Computing the ratio between 18 and 82.3 gives 0.219, rounded to the third decimal place. This we will use to project the distance onto our map picture. Now, we switch over to our tool and set our shadow marker at the position of the street sign as indicated by the red arrow in the upper right. We then draw a red line from the left street sign to the street lamp, which measures 379. Multiplying this with the ratio gives 83. Starting from the street lamp, we can draw a line with the same lengths. This line we can extend to the intersection between the 10 a.m. shadow prolongation and the sidewalk on the upper right. This line measures 130.5. As a last step, we extend the line to the intersection of the 9 a.m. shadow with the sidewalk, which measures 220.2. Now, we can compute the difference between 220.2 and 130.5, divide this by 220.2 and multiply it by 60 minutes, which gives 20.4 minutes. Therefore, we can assume that the picture was taken around 9.24. Although the computation is sensitive to the marker position and the tool provided, someone will come up with a value between 9.20 and 9.30. Prove it yourself. Many thanks to Pat Jag and others who used different methods to show that the picture indeed was taken around the time claimed by the original poster.